Let me give you some advice. Don't go down this rabbit hole like I did. Hey humans, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Quick disclaimer for you all, if you clicked on this video, you obviously know what it's about, but I just wanna make double sure that you know the following stories are incredibly disturbing. I wanna also say that remember that all of these stories happen to real people. These are real victims with real families. And so we definitely wanna be very respectful to the fact that even though their deaths were incredibly strange, it is still an actual person who actually died. Hitoshi Nikato was a doctor from Houston, Texas. He was in his 30s and when he was at the hospital, he and a nurse were about to enter an elevator. The elevator doors open and the nurse got into the elevator. Unfortunately, the elevator doors closed on Dr. Nikato and he got pinned in the elevator and ended up with his head on the inside and his body on the outside. Long story short, the doors closed and he was completely decapitated. The nurse was unfortunately stuck in the elevator with his head for quite some time until they were able to rescue her. In fact, she was hospitalized herself after that just due to the shock of this incident. Larry Ellie Mario Moncada was a 25 year old man who worked in a supermarket in Iowa. His family reported him missing in 2009. He left the house and apparently went to the supermarket, but was never seen again. Everyone was looking for him. His family did exactly what people do when their loved one goes missing. They put up flyers. All, everybody was talking about it. They were filing reports. They were trying to figure out what happened to their son. They never found his body. That is until 2019, 10 years later. He was very close by the entire time. It turns out that he was at the supermarket the whole time. He had assumably climbed up a very large cooler and he fell between the 18 inch gap between the wall and the cooler and fell about 12 feet down. He died there because they think the coolers were so loud that when he tried to cry for help, nobody could hear him. So he got stuck there, he died there, and they found his body 10 years after he disappeared. No foul play, he was just found like that, and it was just a really tragic accident. 88-year-old Ilda Vitor Maciel died in a Brazilian hospital. This was also a very, very disturbing accident. Apparently one of the nurses had put soup in her IV drip instead of her feeding tube. So soup got injected into her veins and poor Ilda died a few hours later. Ravi Subramanian was part of the Air India ground crew. He was standing really close to one of the planes one day and the co-pilot on the plane mistook one of his signals for a start engine signal and that is not what he was signaling. The co-pilot started the engine and Ravi was extremely close to it and he got sucked into the jet engine. Fortunately, he died instantaneously he died very quickly but that one has got to give you the chills Alina Lina Struthers Gardner, a 60 year old woman, was carrying one of those mason jar glasses with the lid on it, the screw on lid, into her kitchen when she accidentally collapsed. This glass had a 10 inch steel straw held up in the glass and unfortunately she fell on it. It stabbed her in the left eye, went all the way through and pierced her brain. And that is how poor Lena died. Elizabeth Isherwood was a 60 year old woman who was staying at her villa that she rented. In the middle of the night, she walked naked into her airing cabinet. If you don't know what that is, it's like a closet cabinet type thing that people typically keep their water coolers in there. She tried to leave the cabinet, but unfortunately the door handle broke off in her hand and she was locked in there. She was digging into the wall trying to escape 
and unfortunately one of the pipes burst and soaked her in water so she's stuck at night naked and now drenched in water and so she soon died from hypothermia her body was not found for several days it's still unclear why she went into the cabinet nobody really knows she was naked just because you know it was the middle of the night and she was sleeping some people think she just took a wrong turn when she was returning from the bathroom or maybe she was trying to go to the bathroom and just ended up in there by accident or she was very groggy the creepiest part about this story though is that she actually made a lot of headway burrowing into the wall and she actually created a hole large enough to crawl through but unfortunately she didn't realize that the thing covering the wall was just a picture that was screwed to the wall so she actually could have escaped but in her panic she didn't realize that she was very close to freedom that one's upsetting thank you for making it this far into the video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos on creepy and disturbing things from around the world i'll see y'all in the next one